now to our six months to a six pack challenge where we help you get that tight stomach you've been looking for. Our three contestants, Kelly Dinola, Tamara Housel, and Ralph Oswald, have been working so hard, and today we're going to help them strengthen up their cores. And today, nutritionist Joy Bauer has revamped some of their fattening favorites without <laughs> sacrificing flavor. And fitness trainer Jeff Hallaby has three core exercises that everyone can do at home. Good morning to all you guys. I am just blown away at the transformation it's already. Amazing. Okay, big Kelly's pants. Kelly's off. pants yeah. are falling <laughs> off. That tells you how good it is. All right, let's start with Kelly. And Kelly, when you first started this journey, how much did she weigh, Joy? She started at 177 pounds. Okay. This morning she was 142, so she's down 35 wow. pounds. Wow, incredible. And this is since January first, right? That's right. January, just a couple. Come of over months. here, Kelly. Yeah. Come over here, away from the table, so we can. Look at this. Look at the pants and look at her belly, how flat that is. It is a flat belly challenge. Totally flat. Absolutely. All right, so. What was your craving, Kelly? What was the one thing you couldn't live without before you got into this? Love pasta, love the heartier foods, love lasagna. Three okay. great ingredients in my eyes. Cheese, meat, mm. pasta. You can't go wrong. No, love making love it. it. Love eating it. Have learned throughout this that my serving size was usually this, and I'm <laughs> learning that that was wrong. It should probably be like this. A little so, bit right. smaller. So what did you do, Okay, Joy? so I took on the challenge, and because portion size is a problem for Kelly, I decided to make lasagna love muffins because oh. you automatically have your portion control here. There's only one noodle crisscrossed at the bottom. I used whole wheat noodles, and I increased the volume of the actual muffin mm -hmm. by adding spinach and zucchini, low-fat dairy, and also so yeah, I want you guys I'm all to dig in and try it because I can't pass lasagna. Traditional lasagna is 550 calories per small square. This basket, one love muffin, okay. is 220 calories. Mm. So really, if you want to have a second portion, you can. Awesome. Are and these no baked noodles? Or are they? Um, you have to cook the noodles no first. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I cooked the noodles first. I sliced one in half and I crisscrossed it at the bottom. It's Tell really me what good. you think. Delicious. Maybe I'll not yummy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take these home for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Pretty All good. Right, let's move on to Tamara. Um, what was the weight coming in January 1st, and so, where are we now? So Tamara started at 178 pounds. This morning, she's 152. Right. She's down 26 wow. pounds. Nice job, Thank Tamara. you. Well and look at you, how much you've yeah. changed as well. Okay, what wow. was your food issue? Oh, the cinnamon food rolls. Love. I love them. Oh, I love them. I love the, the icing. I love the dough, the, the, just anything that you put on a cinnamon roll, and I would usually get two, um, for one for each thigh, yeah. you know, and, and I love them. So I laughed in my own heart. Yes. This is a big challenge for me. A typical cinnamon bun with the glaze is 880 calories and will flood your system with 15 teaspoons of sugar. Yes. So what I've done here okay. is I, I made little silver dollar pancakes with uh -huh. pumpkin and non-fat yogurt, some oh. cinnamon, and then the glaze is light cream cheese mixed mm. with a little bit of maple syrup oh my god and Ooh. some chopped pecans so the original 880 that, really. calories Thank this you. one are you ready mm -hmm. 148 no. oh calories oh, that's mm, good. That's so good. delicious mm -hmm. what was the icing again the icing oh, is good. light cream cheese oh. mixed with oh. a little bit of uh, maple syrup and that's some cinnamon. So good. That's so good. Isn't that good so Tamara? good. That's so amazing. good. So right? Good. You like All it? Right. Yeah, so good. Right. Right. Two, one for each thigh, because they're so only 100 good. something. Actually, they're so healthy. You could have two <laughs> servings for breakfast that's in the I'm morning. Saying. There's your breakfast. It's good for you. So good. So All right. right. Look at this guy. Let's Ralph bring it around. Look at this hump. 200, uh, 200 pounds. He's now 166 pounds. He's down 30. Four pounds. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. I see that six pack there already. It's getting there. All right, what so I'm seeing craving? chocolate is your thing. Devil dog, there's no such thing as a bad <laughs> devil dog. I <laughs> never <laughs> met a devil dog I didn't like. And I just wolfed them down on a regular basis. They're wonderful to have. They're okay. satisfying. Okay, you ready for this? What'd you do? Okay, a regular devil dog, 160 calories, not that bad, but the ingredients are suspect. High fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated oil, mm -hmm. which means trans fat. So I made these little chocolate loaves, okay. and then I used cocoa powder and applesauce. Oh. Wow. And then all you're going to do awesome. is top it. Who's going to dig in? Each in one, there, 130 on. calories. Oh, Let's go. And you can't turn that down. I waited a long time for this. You don't need a devil dog with a fork, Ralph. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I do. Among Here friends. we go. When I'm wearing Look white. at these buttes. Mm. And three grams mm. of fiber. Mm. 
because of the whole wheat flour. Let's take a look at some of the Let's exercises. Let's go to exercises. Ralph, drop, yeah, drop the devil dog. Get over to work out. Come on. Come to work out. All right, Jeff. All right, Jeff, your turn. Say, working that okay. core, right? Working the core. So the biggest mistake that people That's make with working off. their core is they don't think three-dimensionally. And the job of your core is to actually keep your spine stable <laughs> okay. during movement. Everybody thinks that this is working the core. That actually does, like, does nothing, nothing, honestly. Right? If not hurt you, by the way. So the okay. first exercise that we have coming up is going to be for the back. We're going to work back sides and front. So for the back, what Kelly's going to do is hinge forward, extend the bar over her head, now stand up, and this works the entire back side of the body, okay? The and next exercise- the core, right? Well, your, your core has to yeah. work the entire time because it's trying to stay straight. Okay. The next exercise right. we have is for the sides, and this is, looks deceptively easy. You can hook a band or a bungee around anything that you have in your house. Actually, just because we're tight on space, I'll do this instead. But what Tamara's going to do is just press straight up. Now obviously the band is pulling her over this way. Her core has to fight to keep her straight and balanced just like that. And real quick, what's Ralph Coming doing? Coming up last, here? Ralph's doing the toughest one. Ralph is going to saw his body back and forth oh. without bringing his bottom in like that, but really just rotating back and forth on the elbows while keeping right. his body straight. This is also a great way to clean the floor and get exercise <laughs> in at the okay, same time. Okay, you guys look great. Everybody Thank you awesome. so much.